Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's use AppleScript to schedule podcast updates in iTunes. So I often hear that people are frustrated by iTunes' lack of options for updating podcasts. Either you have to update every hour or the same time every day. People want to be able to set iTunes to update, say, in the middle of the night, just once a day, so they have fresh new podcasts waiting for them in the morning. Well, you can do this using AppleScript, so this is a good opportunity for us to look at how to use some basic AppleScript. Let's create one and then schedule it to run in the middle of the night using iCal. So you can find the AppleScript editor in the Utilities folder in the Applications folder. Once you run it, you get a scripting window like this where you have to type in commands. Now, if you're not a programmer, AppleScript probably isn't a very good programming language to start with. But you can find lots of example Apple scripts all over the internet by searching for Apple scripts followed by a description of what it is you're looking for. So for instance, you can find information about how to update podcasts in iTunes. Let's start with a line here that tells us to point the Apple script at iTunes. So tell application iTunes and the first line is activate. This will either run the program iTunes or it will bring it to the front if it's already running. Now the next is a specialized command where there's no way of knowing that it exists unless you're specifically looking for it or you happen to stumble upon it on the web. Update all podcasts. That will basically be the same as hitting the refresh button in the podcast section of iTunes. Then we end tell. So we're going to tell application iTunes to activate, update all podcasts. Now we click the compile button, we can see that it formats the text and gives us a clue that we probably typed the right thing. So we want to test this out by hitting run. If it works, it should launch iTunes and then automatically update the podcast. Let's see if it does. I click on it and I can see that it is indeed running iTunes. There's iTunes there and we can see now it's downloading one item. It actually did go ahead and update the podcast. And now if I click on the Mac Answers podcast here, I can see it updated it with the most recent episode. So now we just have to save this script out. We save it as, let's just call it Update Podcasts. I'm going to put it on the desktop here, but you probably want to put it somewhere else, like in your Documents folder. We're going to keep it as Format Script because iCal can actually handle Apple Script scripts. You don't have to save it as an application. And we'll hit Save. So in iCal, let's create a new event. And we're going to call it Update Podcast going to set an alarm for this podcast as run script and then we're going to select the update podcast script right here. Once you select a script like this it will actually appear in a list here. You can see run script and then update podcast appears in that list. And then we're going to set it to run at zero minutes before so it will run exactly at the time that we've scheduled. We're going to change the time here so it runs at three 01 a.m. and ends at 3.01 and we're going to set it to repeat every day. So repeat every day at 3.01 a.m. We're going to click done and we can see it's scheduled here. Now what will happen is if your machine is awake it will then launch this script at 3.01 a.m. and begin iTunes updating the podcasts. But if your machine is asleep it won't run. If your machine is awake though, you don't need to have iCal running. I should point that out. iCal schedules like this, alarms, whatever they are, will run regardless of whether or not iCal, the program itself, is running because there's a process on your Mac that runs iCal alarms regardless. It wouldn't be very useful if you always had to keep iCal running all the time. Now, what happens if your machine does go to sleep or you put it to sleep every night? Well, you can simply tell it to wake up a minute before the script is set to run just go to Energy Saver and go to Schedule and in there you can tell it to start up or wake every day and you can set it to 3 a.m. So now we know that your computer will be awake when that calendar event has to run. So if you're a programmer you may want to continue to look into Apple Script. There's a lot of different tasks that you can script even beyond what Automator can do. There's a library inside the Apple Script editor that you can browse through and there are a lot of online resources as well you can search for. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.